Hello, this is Xstock here, and welcome back to another Yu Gi Oh video. Today, we are going to be going over the 10 more cards which are banned, and today we're going to be looking at the trap cards. So, here we go. First up for this video is Imperial Order. So, this card negates all spell card effects on the field. It, essentially, this card does not let your opponent Yu Gi Oh. That is literally why this card is banned. If your if you opponent can't use trap spell cards, it also means you can't use spell cards. But, you know, that could really mess up some decks, especially spell books. So, yeah, this this card is bouncing for the fact that it doesn't let your opponent, or you, in some cases, you go. Last turn. Now, in case you don't know what this card does, it essentially is a massive FU to your opponent if they are winning the duel. So, um, if you have a thousand life points or less during your opponent's turn, select one once on, on your side of the field, send all of the cards on the field in, and in their respective hands to the group both graveyards. So after that, your opponent special summons one monster from their deck, and then essentially, um, you know, you do a battle, and then whichever one wins, um, that player wins. So if you're facing up with something which main deck is essentially filled with monsters which um, aren't very powerful, and designed to get, say, like, Z's monsters out, you could force them to some special summon something really crap against something which you have on the field which is amazing, and win the duel, even if they still have all their life ones and you have 200 left. So, this card is just a massive FU to your opponent, hence why this is banned. Return from the different dimension. Does anybody really need to know why this card is banned? Pay half your life on special summon as many of your, of your banished monsters as possible. So, for something like Cosmos, just send all your really, really powerful ones to the uh, graveyard, banish, banish them um, if you need to, sorry, on the field, sorry, and banish them, use this card, bring them all back, and annihilate. That's why this card is banned. OP as F. Royal Oppression. Now this is another one of those cards which doesn't let your opponent Yu-Gi-Oh. So you get this on the field and you can just you can pay 800 life points and then negate the special summon of a monster or a card that special summons a monster. And you can do this infinitely. Ridiculous that is. And if you do this, which you have to pay 800 life points for, and then use a card which um, swaps it so you gain life points, that is ridiculous. Self-destruction button. Now this is another one of those cards which is just a big F U to your opponent. If your opponent's life points are 7,000 points higher than yours, um, then you can use this card and make both players' life points zero. So in other words, making a draw. So if you're losing by absolutely loads and getting tanked, and your opponent attacks you and you go below 1,000, activate this, it's a draw. Such a massive screw-up card. Sixth Sense. Now this card is OP as... yeah. You declare two numbers from one to six, and your opponent rolls a six-sided dice. If it's all just one of the uh, numbers you chose, you draw that many cards. That is insane. But it does have a slight draw, but otherwise send a, num a number of cards from your top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the result. So that's good, because if you do five and six and it comes up with five and six, you're getting five, six spare cards. That is, you know, ridiculous. Hence why this card's banned. Solemn Judgment. So in case you don't know what this does, when a monster would be summoned or a spell slash trap card is activated, you pay half your life plus to get the summon or activation if you do destroy that card. Now, personally, I'm unsure why this card is actually banned. It's, it's very similar to Solemn Warning, except that Solemn Warning you pay slightly less. The only thing that I would say, which probably results in this being banned, is that when a monster would be summoned, not like the others where it's a monster would be special summoned, which makes it just ridiculously powerful. Time Seal. This one skips your opponent's next draw phase. Is there any other reason to say why this card is banned? You could use uh, something, some shenanigans in order to get rid of their um, hand, and then if they can't draw the cards back, and then use this, they can't draw anything, which is ridiculous. And especially if they've got nothing in, your hand, nothing in their hand which they can use in the next turn, you use this, they still can't do anything, giving you a huge advantage. Trap Dust Shoot. You can only activate this card when your opponent has four or more cards in his or her hand. Look at your opponent's hand and select one monster card and return it to its owner's deck and then shuffle the deck. So the reason why this card is banned is simply for the fact that you give your opponent a minus one and you get to decide what it is. So you can completely and utterly screw up any tactic which they have. Ultimate Offering. Now this card is ridiculous again. During your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, you can pay 500 life points immediately after the effect resolves. Normal summon or set one monster. Ridiculous. So while your opponent's in their battle phase, you can just use this and also summon loads of stuff to the field. Ridiculously powerful. Hence why it is banned. 
Okay, that is it for this Yu Gi Oh! video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to punch a like button, leave a comment down below, because subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, most follow me on Twitter, link down below as always. So, left for the safe, thank you so much for watching. I've been XLQX, so I will see you in the next Yu Gi Oh! video.